So now we've talked about how this loop of Henle helps us get a really high concentration down here. And to remind you here is the medulla, the medullary interstitium. And let's draw our bigger picture of a kidney again to visualize where that is. So if you remember, there were these two parts of the kidney, the outside, which was the cortex, as well as the inside, which was the medulla. And glomeruli were located out here in the cortex, and then the nephron started up here, and you'd have your PCT there, and then the loop of Henle would come down into the medulla, then you'd have your DCT, and then your collecting duct. And so what this loop of Henle is trying to do, as we said, is to increase the concentration here in the medulla. And we talked about that the way that that works is that we're constantly pushing fluid with higher concentration down and letting fluid with lower concentration out. And this movement in opposite directions creates what we call the counter current multiplier. And it turns out that the deeper this loop of Henle goes, the more it's able to concentrate the medulla. So this loop of Henle right here that we drew goes a little bit into the medulla, so it can help concentrate a fair amount. But if we had a loop of Henle that went much further, like that, let's say, it would be able to increase the concentration down here even more. So the idea is, as the loop of Henle goes deeper, it increases the concentration more and more. So the deeper it can go, the more it's going to increase the concentration. And now one thing that you need to know is that not all nephrons are equal in this regard. Some go deeper than others. And in particular, we like to divide all nephrons into two kinds. The first kind is this one that I've drawn right here. It doesn't go extremely deep into the medulla. And the nephron is, you know, out here in the middle of the cortex or maybe even towards the outside of the cortex. And these kinds of nephrons we call cortical nephrons. And that could be easy to remember because this glomerulus is nicely out there in the cortex. The other kind of nephron, instead of having its glomerulus out here, it has its glomerulus right near the medulla. And so then we have the Bowman space here, the proximal convoluted tubule, and then the loop of Henle dives in and goes really deep. And then you come all the way back out again and get to your collecting duct. Now, this glomerulus is in the cortex, so you might wonder, why don't we also call it cortical? We don't call it cortical because it's so close to the medulla. So instead, we call it something else. We call it juxta medullary nephron. So juxta medullary is one word. Juxta means next to. And medullary refers to the medulla, so it's right next to the medulla, and it's a nephron, of course. So these juxtamedullary nephrons have loops of Henle that go even deeper into the medulla, and these guys especially are critical for getting the concentration here deep in the medulla really high.